video is sponsored by Hackster.io. The Dancing Dragon. Uh, we kind of adapted it, jazzed it up a bit with Head and Fist and Tatsue. The idea behind Interactive Robogami is that we want to make robots easier to customize and easier to create for people who are not necessarily trained in engineering design. And so we've basically designed the system which allows people to do this design very intuitively. There are two main ideas behind it. One is easy fabrication and one is being able to virtually verify that your robot will work once it's been fabricated. On the fabrication side, we've been using 3D printing and folding techniques in order to make the fabrication very easy. And on the functionality side, we've incorporated simulations in order to make sure that the robot can actually walk and can actually perform tasks. 3D printing has a lot of advantages. You can print very complex structures, they're very rigid, whereas in 2D fabrication, it's very fast and you can create basically. My name is Leo, and I spent a year building an autonomous kayak. I attend Berwick Academy, and the kayak was my 8th grade innovation pursuit. The idea for the kayak came on a walk with my dad. We were looking at the Isles of Shoals, which is about 6 miles offshore, and he asked me, if you had to send something out there, how would you do it? I considered a balloon, rocket, quadcopter, or fixed-wing airplane, but I decided the most efficient way would be by boat. After giving the project some more serious thought, I decided to attempt it. The goal was for the kayak to travel all the way to Shoals, entirely unassisted. We chose a path from a sea buoy near Portsmouth to another just in front of Appledore Island, a trip of just over five miles. Today is July 16th, uh, it's about 8.15, and uh, we're just beginning to embark on our first uh, launch to the Isles of Shoals with my autonomous kayak project that I've been working on uh, last school year. So we're hopeful for a good journey.
work.